Um, I'm going to drop down. So in your self-serve, um, you should have an app called Beaker, right? And it's a black icon with um, kind of a blue outline of a beaker right there. So you're going to just click on that. So it's bigger by Thix. And what you're going to come to is a full black screen. And the only thing that you can see are two icons, one in the left, one in the right hand corner. Okay. So one thing we have, if we look, tap on that circle in the right hand corner, this is everything that's available to you, right? So we got our solutions right here, which are acids and dyes, and we got water and bromine. All right. We got acetic acid or, or like vinegar solution, right? Um, then we have all the metals, uh, here compounds elements available to us and then kind of towards the end right here is our gases okay so that's what's available to us and if we uh, click out of that uh, this whole black screen is actually our beaker okay and we have a few things available in the free version for a beaker we could put a lid on our beaker so I can click on the lid whoa look at that got a lid on my beaker so we can contain everything we want to use this lid anytime we're using gases, right? Because if we just put gases in a beaker, they're just going to um, go out, right? Um, so, and I can click on that to get swipe it out to get rid of it. Uh, we have a heating element right here, a burner. So we put that on and red means it's getting hot uh, with that. We can also swipe that away. And then we have a match. And the match is always available to you. And you just swipe your finger across and you can hold it to keep it lit, right? So I'm swiping across. Uh, to hold it here and the match is really fun because when you put metals down you can actually put the match on the metals that we will see here and they'll turn different colors okay so one of the first ones we'll do is actually we're going to do um, some nitric acid and some sodium hydroxide right so i'm going to go all the way to my solutions here my acids so nitric acid hno3 and when you actually do one of these when you click it you actually hold your finger down to allow a whole bunch to build up right so you can kind of see that liquid barrier here, and it actually does its little gravity engine kind of a thing going on. So, ooh, I'm getting a whole bunch of that nitric acid. That sounds good. Then I want to add my sodium hydroxide to this, in which case, uh, right here again, you when you click it, you hold it down to drop as much as you can. And you can see already we have a reaction going, plop, plop, fizz, fizz, right? And you can see that the reaction is coming to the center of the screen. Uh, for you telling you what's happening and we want to actually screenshot that part right there so boom screenshot it nice um, so you kind of look at the type of reaction that's happening um, and then what you can do when you're done all right gravity engine again beaker you just pour it out so you're just going to tilt your ipad upside down this does work on a phone as well um, there is a couple other things like we can do um, i'm going to put a burner on here right a burner and I'm going to um, ignite, or actually I'm going to try to decompose, right? I'm going to do a decomposition reaction with silver iodide. Uh, this happens actually a pretty quick one. So if I take silver iodide, and I click on that right here, boom, just throwing it down. And you can see it's starting to break apart already. And you can see that for every two moles of silver iodide, it's breaking down into two moles of silver and iodine gas right in there so i can take my match and we can see like does it turn a different color at all no no match is still yellow okay and again we'll take a screenshot and actually it's kind of fun to actually be able to take a screenshot uh while you have a match on something just to make it look kind of cool so i'm going to take a screenshot right there all right um i'm going to get rid of this stuff so i'm going to pour them out oh and it looks like my ipad is Going on the fritz, get out of there, silver iodide. Okay, get rid of the burner. Um, for instance, uh, the match with the color, let's find something good. Let's find some potassium. I'm gonna put my little potassium Cheerios, Cheerios <laughs> on the ground here. And I'm gonna light a match. So again, look at the match color. And if you can see, boom, I'm getting this nice purple color and it's showing me the reaction. So I'm gonna actually hit that right here as well. Okay, boom. And we have that. So again, dump it all out here. If you're working with gases, again, make sure you got the lid on. So I'm going to go to my gases right here. Oh, let's see. What's, what's kind of fun ignited? Well, we'll just ignite some oxygen right here. So I'm just puffing oxygen. So you can see I'm kind of moving it around. You're seeing the oxygen little puffs coming up here. I want to fill this up. And we'll see. I'll put a match to it and see what happens. So got some good oxygen. 
Actually, let's see if there's some hydrogen in here. Ooh, yes, of course there'd be hydrogen. Let's put some hydrogen uh, in on this. So we'd want two parts hydrogen, uh, one part oxygen for the biggest bang for our buck, right? So I don't know if I'm there, but anyway, got my gas. Let's see what happens if I ignite a match. Psh, uh, you see that little boom and it's gone, did you notice? You saw the uh, types of reaction right there, the reaction uh, formula, and uh, it disappeared right away because again, uh, boom, right? Uh, ignited, there's no more reaction left. Goes very, very quickly, all right? So I can get rid of that. And really guys, uh, that's kind of the tutorial on our Beaker app right here. So have fun, play around, but you are going to do those reactions that are in your assignment, right? Those 15 reactions, you're gonna, again, find uh, the metals and the acids and you're going to put them together and you're going to screenshot uh, those 15 reactions, okay? Uh, I hope you have fun. It's actually a pretty cool little uh, app right there. All right, take her easy. Bye-bye. Right, where there are 15 screenshots are at. Notice I got a whole bunch of uh, ones in here. Uh, you're going to look at the top right corner of your screen and you're going to click the select button. And we're going to select all the reactions. That looks fun. That looks fun. Yep, I like that one, that one, an exploding one. Yep, these are good. Oh, yeah, look at that. Good, fun. Yes, all right. Um, and you get your 15 screenshots, right? Um, so when you got your 15 screenshots all selected, in the top left corner is the upload box. You're going to click that. Uh, the screen will come in and it'll have all the ones that are checkmarked. Make sure that's right. But what you're actually going to do is you're going to come down here and you're going to click the print, right? You want to print these. So you click print. And it's okay if you don't have a printer or anything like that. That's perfectly, totally fine because you're not going to use it. You're going to have the printer option screen pop up. And you're going to have your pages, all the ones that you selected, right? You got your 15 going in here, moving in. Do, 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 do. Yep. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the pinch out method, right? Just as if you were trying to zoom in on something or expand it. So the pinch out, and it's going to blow it up. And now, as you can see, I got my 15 photos all in a nice uh, row. This is a PDF uh, right here. And you can see, again, make sure you have your reactions there. We need to see the reactions, like the reaction happening and the actual equation going on there. So what I'm going to do now uh, to send that in, I'm going to hit the top right upload box one more time. And I can either save it to files and totally keep this on, or I can actually click on uh, Shobi. We use Shobi, right? So I'm going to click that on right here. And then from Shobi, I can go into whatever folder I want and put it in the correct assignment folder. If you have Google Classroom, you should be able to do the same thing with that. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's kind of there you have it. That's how you upload your 15 uh, photos without it being such a drag. All right. Have a good one. I hope you guys enjoyed the activity. Bye-bye.